this quick tutorial video I will show you how you can get super slow motion easy and fast with any camera. What's going on everyone and welcome back. It's nice to see you here on my channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial. I haven't done it in a while. It's going to be a quick tutorial that will help you to improve your skate videos. And because you already read the title, you know the topic. It's how to make slow motion even slower to get slow motion. At the end of this video you should be able to make super cool skate videos or other videos, G videos, any kind of videos with this one simple technique and it should allow you to get epic slow-mo with any camera, really any camera, your iPhone, DSLR, GoPro, it doesn't matter. I hope you are excited about this. This video is for all the skateboard filmmakers out there and people that like to make videos just like me. If you're not interested in this, it doesn't hurt me if you tune off and watch another video. <laughs> That's okay, then I'm hopefully gonna see you in the next video. So I would like to get straight into this. It's a super quick and easy effect that's going to make a lot of impact on your skate videos or other videos. The first question that you need to ask whenever you would like to learn something is what do I need? And in this case you need something to record a video on, any kind of camera. It can be an iPhone, it can be another phone, it can be an action cam or some action or GoPro, or it can be a DSLR, anything that can record video in at least 24 frames per second. And then you will also need Premiere Pro. I'm pretty sure that you can do it in other editing software but I feel like Premiere Pro is the best way to do it and that's why I'm going to show it in Premiere Pro. As I already said, it's super quick and easy so let's get right into this computer here. I just totally moved my computer to make this. I'm hyped now. Um, so the first step is opening up Premiere Pro. Uh, here you have Premiere Pro. If you've never seen this software before then uh, why are you even here? <laughs> this is the software that I use to make my skate videos and I've made this folder here as you can see called Epic Slow Motion and in there I saved a bunch of clips that I'm going to use as examples for this. You already saw some of them at the beginning of this video. I will just quickly show you what I use for this tutorial. So here we have the first clip which is my friend doing a epic frontside feeble grind. Then the second clip isn't related to skateboarding, it's my friend at this road with the bike that I recently filmed. Then the third clip is um, another friend of mine at the local skate park from the last video doing a backside 180. And then we have another clip of me doing a frontside 180. And then we have the last clip which is filmed on my iPhone this was when I made the video how to make videos on an iPhone. So this is filmed on an iPhone, that's the last example. So you already see I have three different cameras here to prove that it's possible with all cameras. We have the DJI Osmo Action, my Nikon camera and an iPhone. Right at the beginning here I will say that this effect is pretty tricky and it doesn't work with every single clip. You might ask yourself now why not and you will see in just a second why not. It's a little tricky as I said. We are going to stay local for the start. That means I will choose the clip of my friend doing the bags at 180 at the local skate park. The first step is to select an in point and an out point. You see he does the backset 180. One thing I would like to tell you for this effect, as I said, this is super slow motion. You shouldn't select a super long clip or the run up and then how he drives away and everything. That is not necessary, we just need a small part of this video. So I'm going to choose this here as the in point and then let's play. This is the out point, this is already enough. I don't want to make this too long because we will see afterwards what happens if we make it too long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the footage and drag it into my timeline and it's going to ask. This clip does not match the sequence settings. Change sequence to match the clip settings. And we're going to say keep existing settings. Now all we did is import the skate clip on our timeline. If we play this, it's just the skate clip in normal speed. So here's what you're going to do, here's the effect. Right click on your mouse and then this window will pop up with all different effects and options that you have for this clip. And here is this effect and this is where we're going to do the speed duration. So click on speed duration and here you have this little window. At the moment the speed is set at 100 because it's normal time and here you see the duration of your clip and some other options which we are going to use soon. Once you opened up this window, half of the work is already done and that means 
Now you just need to change one more thing. What we are going to change is this here, the speed of the clip. And here you can be really creative and choose whatever speed you want. That's the cool thing about it. So you can say 80%, for example, 50% would be half speed. But I told you I'm going to do super slow-mo. So we are just going to remove one zero. So we have 10% and to see how long that is gonna get, 14 seconds. So we have 10% of the normal speed now that is really slow. Here's the key, if I would just press OK now, nothing would work. This effect wouldn't be applied because you would just see frame after frame and it would lag, lag, lag. What we are going to do to actually make this happen is we are going to go to time interpolation and we're going to say here you have some different options. You have frame sampling, frame blending and optical flow and you're going to select optical flow. Okay, now the next thing to do is obviously press OK and to see how long this just got. So you see this red line at the top, that means that it isn't rendered yet. If we press play now on my keyboard, then it's going to look like this. And that is obviously not what we want, that is uh, not the real slow-mo. So to do that you're going to press enter and then it's rendering your files and that usually takes a hell lot of a time and I hate it. A few moments later. Finally it's finished, it is rendered. Now you see a green line. Green means good. <laughs> and now we're going to play it. And you can see it's super 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 slow motion. I don't know if you realized it, but in between you often see these glitches and it does look a little weird. That's what I told you about at the beginning. The thing is this effect simply does um, fill out the frames that are missing. At the beginning you saw that it was lagging and the frames that are missing in between to make it smooth uh, are going to be generated by the computer uh, with this effect and that is why you oftentimes see these glitches. There's one thing that you can think about when you shoot the footage to avoid this weird glitch in the background or in the foreground. If you shoot a skate video and you would like to use this effect, the background should be still. And if we look at this case here, there are a lot of people moving, skating and there are a lot of different things in the background. This clip does really not work very good for this effect. The tip that I can give you here is when you make skate videos, uh, shoot them from the ground towards the sky because the sky is just one color, it's blue or white or grey and by having just this one color behind your object, the skater, you're going to avoid these glitches. I know this is very technical but in the end just try out some different things, uh, try out with your clips whether it works or not, some clips just don't work and you gotta accept that and let it be. I have a few other clips here imported but I'm not going to do it one more time. I think you got it, it's very easy and fast to learn. I think it's a pretty cool effect because it does make your skate videos way cooler if you have slow motion and you see the techniques that I'm using when I make skate videos are often slow motion obviously and also the speed ramp that I showed in this tutorial here and you can also combine these two, the super slow motion with speed ramp so you can be as creative as you want here uh, to make better skate videos, that's what we all want, right? I hope you could follow along, otherwise let me know if you did not understand anything. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Now I will probably go to the skate park to capture some footage that has white or blue background, rather white because it's almost raining now, so that I can use it for this video to show some other examples for super slow motion. And that's what I'm going to do now. I see you in the next video, which is going to be a skate edit. Thanks for watching this video the second time. Goodbye and have a great day, night or evening.